What is up guys, this is Jay here, JMedia1, and we are back with another product to review. Today we got the Jayco N20 RGB speakers, and these are cool speakers for under $25. And what makes them so cool? Well, they have RGB lighting. There are two desktop speakers, as you can see here, but they also can turn into one and kind of sit flat like this on your desk, which is really cool. So we're going to get straight into the unboxing so you guys can check them out. Let's go, guys. Okay guys, so we're just gonna tear right into the box. They just come in a box just like this, nothing too fancy. Just gotta pop the tab back here. We're gonna get that, we're gonna open it up. You can see some cable on top. Just gonna slide them out here. Kind of in some bubble wrap, we're gonna rip that off. <clears throat> we got a little bit of reading material here, user manual. And then we also have a QR code. You can scan this and get 18 months of extended warranty. You do have to scan it within 14 days to get that. Uh, the setup looks pretty easy, so we're going to take a look at these first. They do have this really cool like con or concave design where it kind of pulls out here, and it kind of comes to a point, which is nice. You can tell that there's some RGB lighting maybe down at the bottom here, or at the top, I'm sorry, because the speaker knob's down here, or up here. Now the speaker knob clicks, as you can hear, and it rotates as well, which is really cool. And that's just going to be for volume control, I'm sure, uh, maybe some pairing power on and off. Uh, underneath here we have our USB-A cable, which I'm not a huge fan of, but for under $25, how can you expect any more? The cable's pretty long. It's definitely going to be able to reach like down to a desktop if you guys still use one of those, or, you know, of course, a laptop. You have a little bit of room between them as well. This thing stretches out pretty far. I would say about three feet. So it's gonna give you plenty of room that direction. The part about these is they are able to snap together. If you look underneath here, there's a groove that kind of goes all the way around. And this one is kind of inside. So you just take that groove, you line these up, and then you can slide these two together like this. So now it just becomes a flat desk speaker like that, which is really cool. Your knob's over here, it's out of the way. You're gonna have RGB on both sides. If you want to separate them, you just slide them back apart. You can stand them up. And then you have speakers that are standing up on your desk like this. So, pretty cool options there. I really like that. You can see inside here, the speakers are pretty large. They're about the, uh, I don't know, a couple inches at least on both sides. And then you can tell that there's like another speaker incorporated down here somewhere. We're going to plug these in so you guys can have a listen. USB mode. So you hear it says USB mode right off the bat as soon as we plug them in. And uh, this thing plugs into a power supply, right? If you have a Windows PC, you can plug it into the USB-C, go through your system settings, and get it to uh, light up that way. But we're, lo we're logging into a Mac. Now our Mac is newer, so it has USB-C, not USB-A, so we have to use an adapter. But we do have the option to plug this into a regular power brick into the wall. It's a 5 volt power. So it doesn't require a whole lot just to power them on, which is very good. Um, that makes it a lot easier to set up. These also have Bluetooth though, which is how we're going to pair them. And so it says you just double tap here. Bluetooth mode. And they're in Bluetooth mode. So now I'm going to go to my Mac computer. I'm going to find my Bluetooth settings and I'm going to get them paired. Jayco pops right up. It's pretty cool. They device come, they come right on. You can hear it says device paired and they're ready to go. So let's see what they sound like. Uh, volume control is here, so we're going to turn it all the way down and kind of work our way up. That beep indicates that they're at max volume. Not terrible, right? They're probably not the ba best bassiest speakers I've ever heard. They're not going to sound the best when they're in, when they're full volume anyway. So let's keep them down there about right here. Let's let's see what the volume sounds like when we crank it on the computer a little bit. All the way down, virtually nothing there. And it beeps when it tells you it's fully up. Let's see if it beeps all the way down. No. It just beeps when you got a full max volume. Yeah. 
So I say they seriously lack in bass, <laughs> but they're not very big speakers and they're not very expensive. So they're not going to be the best sounding speakers in the world. But for little computer speakers that are under 25 bucks, they're pretty cool. And I really like the, the, the snap together feature here. Uh, the cool part is, is that I am using my own beat. I actually mix this beat, so I don't have to worry about copyright infringement. You can see they kind of change colors on the side. You got two different uh, RGBs, one on either side. I would probably set them like this. Like if this was my setup, I would set them on my desk just like this because I think they look super cool like that. All right, so let's get into some uh, tech specs on these bad boys. So the Jayco M20 PC speakers offer a unique and custom design. They allow you to combine or separate the speakers using a slide away at the base to fit your desk and space. These monitor speakers produce clear and crisp stereo sound with dynamic 10 watt output drive units, five watts times two. They're perfect for enjoying music, movies, and video gaming. With Bluetooth V5.3 chips, you can easily connect your cell phone, tablet, and other mobile devices to the Jayco M20 and play sound. The desktop speakers also feature gradient RGB for an enhanced audio-visual experience, which can be turned off at any time. The one-button control allows you to easily power on and off, so that's going to be right here. So we can power on and off. We can change, you can see we can change the RGB color there. If you hold it down, I'm sure it turns them off. Yep, just hold it down, you hear doo doo doo, -doo they go off. USB mode. Uh, hold it down and it comes back on just like that. And you just adjust the volume with the rotary knob there. So I did notice turning them off and then back on, they completely lost pairing and they won't auto reconnect. Um, I'm not sure if that's just an issue with these specific ones, but uh, I can't even get them to connect, so I'm gonna have to go through pairing mode again. Okay, so it appears if you just put it back in Bluetooth mode, it'll auto pair. So, I, I mean, that's not terrible. You just have to remember to do it. So, the, U uh, the USB cable serves as both a power supply and audio transmitter when used to, with computers or laptops. These gaming speakers are plug and play. They don't require any additional software, which is kind of cool. You simply connect the USB plug to your computer's USB port, plus the audio settings and your system settings if you have a Windows PC. And the Jayco M20 speakers are compatible with PCs, laptops, and wired mode, and can also be used with other devices with Bluetooth capability. I like that they have Bluetooth. I think that, that kind of makes them what they are for the price. They're less than 24 bucks, like I said. So you can't really beat the price on these guys. The trouble's not bad, the bass is kind of weak. You can hear like the hard hitting bass, it just, the hard hitting bass doesn't sound good at all. So I would use these for like uh, computer speakers if you're watching like little videos and stuff like that. Not really gonna be super great for listening to music, but they're there, they work. I mean, they're 25 bucks guys, what do you want? Slide apart real easy. Set them up like that, and you got some cheap speakers. So, that's our reviews for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to mash the like button. Also, leave a comment down below. Would you guys buy $25 speakers, or are you more apt to spend more money and get a higher quality speaker? Like I said, I don't think they're terrible for the price. I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can pick up your very own, and we will see you in the next video. Later, guys. Later, guys.